Thanks, Cameron. We're leading the way on breaking news and investigations underway after a man was shot and killed while on a Cincinnati Metro bus. This shooting happened near Dana Avenue and Redding Road in North Avondale. The bus driver drove the victim to UC Medical Center six minutes away. WLWT News 5's Richard Childs is live there with the latest. Richard. Well, Andrew, the response from community leaders this morning is simply heartbreaking. They do commend that Metro driver for taking quick action, bringing that victim here to University Medical Center where he did succumb to his injuries. Unfortunately, again, unable to save the life with quick thinking. A hail of gunfire again, unfortunately claiming the life. Now, that victim has been identified by Cincinnati police as 21-year-old Nico Larkin. According to friends and family I had an opportunity to speak with this morning, Mr. Larkin, in fact, coming home from work when he was shot and killed. That bus that he was riding on, making its way through North Avondale on Dana Avenue near Redding Road. When it comes across a hail of gunfire, the gunfire striking Mr. Larkin. People say that, according to police, that the Metro bus nor Mr. Larkin was not the target. But again, community activists commending the quick response of that bus driver bringing Mr. Larkin here to University Medical Center. I'd like to commend the bus driver. He made the right call getting the bus here where he did. He, he got here. And that's something that, you know, that's, that's commendable. That he would take that responsibility. No, I'm not going to wait. I'm going. And got here at the hospital. Now again, getting Mr. Larkin here to the hospital, simply heartbreaking this morning. Hearing from other city officials, you heard from Peterson Mingo from the Citizens Response Initiative to reduce violence as well. They've seen too much violence in the city this year. We have reached out to Metro at this time. The Metro has not issued a statement in regards to this incident, nor again the ongoing investigation from Cincinnati police. We're live this morning from University Medical Center. Richard Childs, WLWT News 5. Thank you, Richard. We are also leading the way on breaking news. A late night shooting in the West End has left a 16 year old dead. The victim has been identified as Eric Shields. Officials were called to Hopkins Street between Lynn and Cutter just after 11 o'clock last night. Shields also taken to UC Medical Center but died from his injuries. It's not clear yet what led up to the shooting if or, or if police have a suspect in this case. If you have information that can help police, you could call Crime Stoppers 513-352-3040. New developments in a shooting in Springfield Township that left the high school student dead. Officials have arrested and charged 21-year-old Jokar Dillard with murder. North College Hills School Superintendent described the 17-year-old victim as a 12th grade student athlete. WLWT News 5's Elena Batapaglia has the heartache being felt around the community. A student athlete's life cut short after a fight breaks out in Springfield Township. He wasn't even involved in a fight, but he ended up getting shot. Police say it happened at Crutchfield Park around 4 o'clock. North College Hill Superintendent Eugene Blaylock went to the scene to comfort the people who witnessed it. When I walk up to him, all I can do is give him a hug. That's it. I'm not, I can give him a hug and say I'm there for you. And that's the reason I came up here today. He says he's spoken to students about the need to stop the violence in the past. Every day we hear about somebody fighting some senseless violence. This is now the time when we need to step up and say, not here, not anymore. Rick Graham well, grew up in Springfield this, Township. This is, no, this is not normal, okay? He says it wasn't like this when he was a kid and that something needs to be done. If you sit and you don't say nothing, it's going to be like a wart. It's going to grow and grow and grow and get out of hand. The victim was taken to University Hospital but died after he arrived. Blaylock says his deepest condolences go out to the family and it will take a village to stop this behavior once and for all. And we really need parents to understand that, that if he hits you, hit him back. Those days are over. We need to talk about unity and we need to talk about what we can do so we don't lose another, another young man, another student, another individual in this city. That's Elena Batapaglia reporting. The superintendent says the district will meet today about offering support to students. Dillard's being held at the Hamilton County Justice Center. Two people are recovering after an overnight shooting near UC's campus in Clifton. The shooting happened on Calhoun Street near Scioto Lane. Police say two people arguing in a parking lot there, then shots were fired. One of the victims taken to the hospital by a police officer. That person is in serious condition. Another victim taken to the hospital by a private car. Their condition is not known. People in the area say when they heard the shots, they just ran for their lives. The security was standing right here. Over four, five, six people were just running towards this way, and then you got the other people running that way. Just everybody was just taking cover, and everybody that was up here just hit, ran way back and 
back there, to behind the building. Just everybody just went to take covered. Police have not released the ages of the victims. No suspect information has been released either. A gun was recovered at the scene. Gun control advocates are rallying in cities.